Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I bring to you a natural look inspired by Anna from Frozen. So I wanted to kind of get this in while I still had somewhat red in my dark brownish hair that's still dark brown currently, but oh well. So this is just a nice natural look inspired by Anna. Got some very blushy cheeks, frozen from the cold. But yeah, I uh, suck at enter. So if you want to see how I did this, keep on watching. If you want to see other like mediocre makeup tutorials done by me, I mean, subscribe to my channel. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so starting with a clean moisturized face, I'm going to apply a light layer of a foundation just to even out my skin tone while keeping a natural look like Anna's. As usual, I'm going to take the Glossier Stretch Concealer on my fingers, warming the product up, and then placing it right under the eye and blending out to cover the dark circles. And powder the face to set the makeup. And to stick with the natural look, I'm going to take a brow gel like Glossier's Boy Brow and just lightly sweep that over the brows to slightly tint them and hold them in place. And for eyes, start with a pale nude shade, just blotted all over the lid as a base. And then use a darker nude to begin defining the crease. using a tan eyeshadow and beginning to deepen the crease and sort of rounding out that outer V just to give my eyes a bit more of a round shape like Anna's. And then I'm just taking a lighter brown, just adding that to the crease to deepen it up a little bit more. Then go ahead and bring that tan shade that we used earlier down onto the lower lash line of the eye just to create some evenness between the top and the bottom. Then just use your finger to pat that light nude shade that we used before all over the lid just to bring some brightness to the area. use an iridescent highlighter on the inner corners of the eye and on the brow bone. Then take a dark brown shadow on an angled brush and begin very closely lining the eyes and winging up just slightly on the edges. This is going to help give your lashes a thicker look without actually having a fully lined look on the eye. Then take a white eyeliner pencil and we're going to take this to the waterline of the eye. This is going to help make our eyes appear bigger and more doll-like like Anna's. Don't forget to curl your lashes! And 
and then apply generous amounts of a lengthening mascara like the one I'm using from Glossier. Then using the highlighter from before, we'll stipple this on the tops of the cheekbones, tip of the nose, and Cupid's bow. Then we're going to use a warm rosy blush and apply this from the apples of the cheeks and then slightly down into the hollows of the cheeks and this is going to give more of a natural flush to the face as though you've been out in the cold for a while. Swipe a little bit of the blush right on the tip of your nose just to add an all over flush. And now let's apply some lipstick. So the lipstick that I'm using here today is a bit more orange than what Anna wore in the movie, but I just really like the frosted effect that it gave once it was on. And that completes our natural winter makeup inspired by Anna from Frozen. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more recreations like this one. And also let me know down in the comments what your favorite song from Frozen was. I'm pretty sure mine was Love is an Open Door, but that's just me. But thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week.